welcome to RKGIT e-learning channel. I am uh, Dr. Vinita Singh, Associate Professor in Applied Mathematics. Uh, today uh, my, I will uh, deliver the lectures lecture on partial differentiation. You have already uh, know that in uh, ordinary differentiation y is a function of single variable x. There is only single variable which is independent variable and y is dependent variable which is depending on variable x. But in partial differentiation, in partial differentiation the function is of minimum two variable and more than two. Then we will apply the differentiation. It is known as partial differentiation. Basically the definition is this one when z is a function of x and y and you have to differentiate z with respect to x then you have to take y as constant and the defini uh, uh, expression mathematical expression is this one dabar z by dabar x is equal to limit dabar x tends to 0 and variation yahan par aap khud dekhoge variation is in x and y is taken as constant so f x plus del x comma y with difference f x y divided by del x and this del x is very minimum and approaches to 0 similarly jab aap y ke respect mein differentiate kar rahe, you have to take x as constant which is, which is also visible in is this expression here x is constant and variation in y and yani y plus del y and comma x comma y upon del y where del y tends to 0 because it is very minimum next step me ye jo aapne nikala dabar z by dabar x that is called first order partial derivative first order partial derivative and now you have to uh, find out the higher order in the engineering mathematics one we will find the higher orders of that uh, these functions of variable two variable and more than two so then uh, higher order is this one dabar by dabar x and now you have to again perform differentiation dabar z by dabar x that will be represented by dabar 2z upon dabar x2 and this will be denoted by r. This is a new symbol and this is universal, universal symbol r because normally numerical is in the form of rst. The symbol of dabar 2z dabar x2 that means z ka differentiation, partial differentiation with respect to x that is known as r and again if dabar z and dabar z upon dabar y already prepared then you have to again differentiate with respect to y then this will be represented by dabar 2z upon dabar y2 and it is represented by small t. Again next one if you have dabar z by dabar y and you have to perform differentiation with respect to x and this will be represented by dabar 2z dabar x and dabar y and again if you have dabar by dabar x and now you have to perform with respect to y this will be represented by dabar 2z dabar y dabar x and this will be uh, also given by the symbol s the rst jo hai aapke new symbols hain jiske accordingly aapko numerical deal karna hai next ek cheez aur batana chahenge ki yahan par jo ye property di hai dabar 2z dabar x dabar y ya dabar 2z dabar y dabar x ye kis सी भी फंक्शन z के लिए ऑलवेज वेरीफाइड फॉर्म है कि आप z का डिफरेंशिएशन पहले x के रिस्पेक्ट में करो देन y के या पहले y के रिस्पेक्ट में करो एंड देन x के रिस्पेक्ट में करो दोनों से जो आपका z का डिफरेंशिएशन सेकंड ऑर्डर का प्रिपेयर होगा दैट विल बी ऑलवेज इक्वल ओके फर्स्ट वी विल डील वन एग्जांपल फॉर फर्स्ट ऑर्डर डेरिवेटिव एंड दैट इज डेबर जेड बाय डेबर एक्स एंड डेबर जेड बाय डेबर वाई जहां पर जेड मैंने फंक्शन लिया एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर अप॑न एक्स वाई फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मैं ये तुम्हें ये बताना चाहूंगी कि यहां पर डिफरेंशिएशन के सारे फार्मूले डिफरेंशिएशन के हैं लेकिन पार्शियल डिफरेंशिएशन जैसे हम यूज करते हैं वहां पर पार्शियल में आपके रूल्स रेगुलेशन सारे ऑर्डिनरी के हैं लेकिन स्टेप्स आपके थोड़े से डिफरेंट हो जाते हैं दैट विल बी डेबर जेड बाई डेबर एक्स क्वेश्चन रूल यू हैव यू विल अप्लाई क्वेश्चन रूल एंड क्वेश्चन रूल क्या होता है डिनोमिनेटर डिनोमिनेटर एज सच डिफ्रेंसिएशन ऑफ न्यूमरेटर माइनस न्यूमरेटर एज सच डिफ्रेंसिएशन ऑफ डिनोमिनेटर अपॉन डिनोमिनेटर का होल स्क्वायर नाउ यू हैव टू सॉल्व दिस वन आप सॉल्व करेंगे आपके सामने आ गया एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस वाई स्क्वायर अपॉन एक्स स्क्वायर थोड़ा सिंप्लीफाइड फॉर्म में दैट विल बी इक्वल टू एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस वाई स्क्वायर अपॉन एक्स स्क्वायर वाई 
okay and similarly similarly now you will take deber z by deber y now uh, z is a function of x and y and you have to apply deber z by deber y that means you will uh, differentiating z with respect to y so you should take x as constant and apply again quotient rule yani denominator and numerator same procedure jo humne follow kiya previous one you will apply at z with respect to y that you will get deber z by deber y again y square minus x square x upon x into y square deber ye first order ka differentiation hai jo aapne find out kiya ab iske baad maine jab ye bataya aapko to ye already maine bataya ki ye property verified hai ki aapka z ka differentiation x ke respect mein karke y ke respect mein jaye ya y ke respect mein karke x ke respect mein jaye isse dono mein jo aapka answer aayega that will be सेम सो वी विल टेक वन फंक्शन जेड इज इक्वल टू टेन एज नो एस वाई बाई एक्स एंड नाउ फर्स्ट फर्स्ट वी विल टेक लेफ्ट हैंड साइड नाउ वी विल टेक लेफ्ट हैंड साइड लेफ्ट हैंड साइड वी विल टेक जेड विद रिस्पेक्ट टू वाई now apply with respect to y when with respect to y we will, you will differentiate you will take x as constant again differentiate it tan inverse ka formula wahi jo aapke 11 12th ka formula hai you will apply that one and again this is the function of two variables and again you will you will differentiating with respect to y then x should be constant then y by x differentiated we will get 1 by x after solving all these you will get x upon x square plus y square now again you have already uh, differentiate uh, z with respect to y now you have to apply deber z by deber y with respect to deber uh, with respect to x now again this uh, formula x upon x square plus y square which will be differentiated by with respect to x again apply quotient rule quotient rule denominator as such multiplied by uh, uh, differentiation of numerator minus numerator as such differentiation of denominator and upon denominator ka whole square now again this will be uh, solved and we will get equation number 1 now you have to verify that ki this left hand side is equal to right hand side same procedure you will apply on the right hand side but in right hand side you will differentiate z z with, with respect to x with, with respect to x you will take y as constant apply this one you will get minus y upon x square plus y square and now you have to perform this uh, differentiation with respect to y so deber z by deber x aapka already prepared hai now you have to partially differentiate with respect to y so we will take again y uh, x as constant and apply quotient rule you will get equation number 2 that will be equal to equation number 1 so so left hand side is equal to right hand side this property has been verified